So here's a little trick that I want to show you. Uh, let's say that you're going to electroplate something like this. And it's kind of complicated to know exactly how much surface area you have around your part. And uh, now you need a rough estimate because when you electroplate, you want to run your electroplating at about 0.2 amps per square inch. But how many square inch do we have here? Then what you can do, knowing that an A4 paper is 93 square inch or about 620 square centimeters. Now this A4 paper, it, it actually weighs quite exactly 4.65 grams. So then if you take your little part like this and you draw around your part then we got one side there and you got the other side there now I just need to cut out these ones and weigh them because knowing that we have four point or in this case 64 grams for 93 square inch then we can calculate that each square inch of this paper will be 4.64 divided by 93 and that is 0 0.05 grams per square inch 0 0.05 grams is what one square inch of paper will weigh. So if I cut these ones out and I put them on the balance and I weigh them, I will get the number right. I will get a weight. I know that there are sides here as well on these sides, but they are not the major sides, so I'm getting a rough estimate here. So I will get back to you in a second and show you how much these ones weigh. So now we've got these two pieces, one and two, representing the two sides of this little tool that I'm going to electroplate. And I've already put them on the balance. And I know now that these two pieces all together weighs 0 0.55 grams. Then all I need to do is to take the 0 0.55 grams and divide it by 0 0.05 grams per square inch of paper. And that means that I'm going to have 55 divided by 5, that's 11 square inch of material that I'm going to coat. So the surface area of this is roughly 11 square inch. So I'll take this quickly again. You know that the A4 paper is 93 square inch. It weighs 4.64 grams. That's 4.64 divided by 93 gives you 0 0.05 gram per square inch. And you cut out the two sides of your part that you're going to electroplate. In this case, these two pieces weigh 0.55 grams. I only divide the 0.55 grams with 0.05 grams per square inch. And then I get the surface area of this, which is roughly 11 square inch. So now we know that the Electroplating current should be 0 0.2 as a good starting value amps per square inch. So we have 11 square inch times 0 0.2 amps 
per square inch. That means when I electroplate this, a good starting value will be 2.2 amperes as a setting on my rectifier or power supply.